Our garden shed inventors are back, and as Lindsay Fallow and David Wardell discover, there's some clever new ideas about to help make those fearsome domestic chores that little bit easier. This week, Inventions Plus has headed north. We're in Newcastle, a city which has changed a lot over the years, but still hasn't shaken its industrial roots. Next to me is the River Tyne, the lifeblood of the city. This is the perfect place to meet up with a band of inventors with bright ideas. I'm here at the Discovery Museum in Newcastle. I'm being very careful because I'm holding a very early light bulb. Not, as you may think, invented by Thomas Edison, but in fact invented by a local guy called Joseph Swan. Now, David, not many people have heard of Mr. Swan, have they? No, because there is some contention as to who was actually first in inventing the light bulb, and uh, Edison was slightly ahead with the patents. And the other main thing about Edison was that he'd thought the whole thing through. It wasn't just light bulbs, it was power generation, it was supply, the whole kit and caboodle, rather than just the end result. Well, this may have revolutionised the way that we live our lives in the home, but somebody's still got to do the household chores, particularly the ironing. And where's your mum when you need her? With me is David Bernstein, who's invented something to help out with most people's most hated chore, which is ironing. Now, what have you done to this ironing board? Well, basically, we have a cloth cover. Underneath there is a foam pad mm -hmm. and mesh. And running the whole length of the surface is a chamber. And at the back, underneath the ironing stand, we have a fan, which pulls the steam through uh, from the iron, through the fabric, and it gives, it enables you to iron on both sides at the same time of most fabrics. Excellent. Now what else does it do? It acts as a third hand. So, for instance, the fan is not on at the moment. If you place the um, trouser onto the board... Yeah. Um, well, that happens to me all the time. Right. But with the fan, the fan acts uh, suction, and you can place it anywhere on the board so you can even put the end of the garment on there and you're you not can kind of you can put the end of the garment on there and it holds it in position now i know that you've been distributing this through um catalogues and mail order yeah. and what are your plans what's the next step for you um, the next step basically is to get it into as many homes as possible through the retail excellent well we'll get david in to have a look and see if he can come up with some advice for you thank you very much thanks Do I look like I know what I'm doing? Not really, Lindsay. No, no, my mother laments my ironing, <laughs> or lack of. <laughs> now, what do you think of this, David? Well, machines to iron clothes have been the holy grail of inventors for the last 50 years, if not longer. And it's funny that the public consistently say that's one of the most important machines that they'd like invented. Automatic ironing machine. Automatic ironing machine. This doesn't solve all the problems, because it's a very difficult problem to solve, mm. but it's a good step in the right direction. Now, this is quite an unusual invention for us to feature because it's already a product out there on the market so how does your advice change given that it's already out there to buy well i had a, a, a long chat with david before we started and, and uh, as with all inventions this one actually was, was started 12 years ago so it's taken him a long time to get to this point but yes he's on the market and he's got international coverage with his patents so he needs to take on a much wider audience now the way to do that is usually through what we call licensing you find a manufacturing company with a distribution outlets in another country and you license your technology to them for them to be able to do it for you before we go we've got one last innovative idea to show you and this one really is a very bright idea now Raymond what's this all about right it's a device for changing light bulbs from floor level that means without the operator having to climb a chair a step ladder or anything like that. Right. Show us. Right. This would be hanging from a ceiling rose way up out of reach. You would bring this up above it, move it horizontally, bring it down, it automatically locks in position, bring it to the ceiling. I would never get a light bulb down from up there. Do a little twist. There you have it removed. Discard the old light bulb, replace it with a new one. Put it back in again. And there we and go. There you are. The only downside is that a specially designed light fitting is needed for this invention to work. 
If you want to find out more about that invention or anything else you've seen on this week's show, then please point your browser at www.ukhorizons.co.uk.